Uh-oh. There you guys go. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to share this video. You guys share your video as well. Um, I am trying to figure out how to go live on two different screens. So I downloaded a new Facebook app. So hmm, we will see how this goes. Yes, I want to share to that one. And oh, we'll see while I'm waiting for you guys. It's not doing it correctly, so it is what it is. So I'll just share, okay? So give me a second. And then we're going to talk about the five benefits or the five um, benefits that I like specifically of elderberry. So let me go ahead and share. Sharing is caring. You guys share the video as well. Say hi when you come into the group so that I know that you're here, please. Um, where do I want to share it? I want to share it. To well, let's share it to the vital force with Dr. Sam, and we'll share it to um, that's good for now. And I need to share it with Dr. Sam. All right, so if you're in the group. Please say hi to me. I'll try to keep up with the comments. Um, it's kind of hard to do. Hold on one second. So let me turn this down. And I'll see if I can see the comments as well. Okay, so there's a lot of news right now about elderberry, right? And I just wanted to come on. And first of all, let me explain to you guys that I am a board certified and licensed naturopathic physician. This means I'm an expert in natural medicine. Through my number one best-selling books, my concierge medical practice, and my live event, Vital, the experience, a two-day international wellness retreat, I help you bridge conventional and alternative medicine to transform your illness into wellness. So today we're going to be talking about elderberry. Elderberry is fantastic. Um, it's not like the panacea of the world, like green tea to me, but it has some really cool um, features. Hey, Dr. Teresa, how are you? So I wanted to talk about elderberry. Lots of stuff in the news, you know, all of a sudden about elderberry and especially about the flu and this, that, and the other. So number one, even though I am a licensed naturopathic physician and expert in natural medicine, thank you so much. Um, what I'm telling you does not constitute you're not going to see a doctor. Okay, that's number one. And two, if you if you have the flu or have been diagnosed with um, the flu, you need to see your doctor. Okay, but here are five benefits of elderberry that I really really like, and I'm super excited to share them with you. So if you don't mind, I'll share my five. You guys can type questions in there if you would like to. Please share. Sharing is caring. All right. So number one. Elderberry helps with malabsorption. So a lot of times I'm finding that my patients aren't absorbing their nutrients and their minerals from the food that they're eating. And then they're also not being able to absorb their supplements that I'm giving them because they've got malabsorption. So the way that elderberry helps with this is that elderberry is super high in fiber. Who knew? The fruit is super high in fiber. It actually has 40% more in the fruit than you would get in any other kind of like fiber supplement. So just with one dose, you're getting 40% more just with one dose of elderberry. So why is fiber important? So fiber is important. Um, it helps to increase your nutrient uptake to help your food digest in your gut. Okay, so that might mean that it would help with constipation. Yay! Don't get me started on poop. So, if you're pooping correctly, right, you're going to sleep correctly, you're getting all those toxins out, your skin is going to look pretty, ah, and you're going to lose weight. Who knew? So, number one is malabsorption. So, it's the fiber content, right? So number two is it's cardio protective. So the reason why it's cardio protective is twofold. Number one, remember I told you it's super high in fiber. Well, the fiber actually helps to decrease that bad cholesterol, make room for good cholesterol, um, 
And it also has a lot of minerals, specifically potassium. And potassium helps to lower the blood pressure. So does if you're decreasing your cholesterol, that's also going to help to lower your blood pressure. It helps to prevent like atherosclerosis and strokes and heart attacks and things like that. When your cholesterol is correct, your potassium is correct. Hey, Latoya, Dr. Latoya, thanks for joining. So also... Increased potassium acts as a vasodilator, right? So that's also going to help with lowering the blood pressure. The other cardioprotective benefit is that it acts as a diuretic. So all of you guys who are like bloated or you have edema, which is like where your leg is kind of swollen, and you can push on it and you've got an indentation, that's edema. So a lot of times that is from the kidneys or renal. So it helps to eliminate renal water or if you've got what, elders call water weight. Okay. So elderberry is fantastic for as a diuretic. Okay. So those are two things so far. So one is malabsorption. So it's going to help because it has lots of fiber and it helps to increase the nutrient uptake of your food in the gut, also supplements, um, cardioprotective because one of the fiber, right, which is going to help to decrease your cholesterol. Um, and also it has increased, uh, potassium, which is going to act as a vasodilator. And also it acts as a diuretic to get rid of water weight. How cool is that? Okay. So number three is that it's an immunoprotective. So this is what you're seeing in the news about, oh, <clears throat> elderberry cough drops and flu and all that kind of stuff because it acts as an immunoprotector. This is huge, guys. So elderberry's constituents as a plant or as a fruit is really what it is, is it has the properties of being antiviral, antibacterial, and just basically anti-infectious agent. Um, specifically, it's got bioflavonoids, it's got anthocyanins, and it's got antioxidants in it. And what that does is it basically decreases inflammation in your body, and it also um, decreases irritation in your body. It helps to clear the mucus out or that phlegm when you're having like upper respiratory stuff. If you've got a cough, a cold, the flu, you know, all those things that are going around right now. So the reason why you want an expectorant or something to clear the mucus out is because the mucus is what traps the bacteria and the viral stuff, right? So if you're constantly clearing out that mucus, then the bacteria and the viral stuff isn't hanging around and you're not sick as long or you might not even notice that you actually have it if you can clear it fast enough, right? So this is the reason why my family takes one teaspoon of elderberry every single day. And my six-year-old absolutely loves it. I'm going to show you guys my, here's my elderberry right here. Okay. This is my product. Um, I'll explain it in a minute, but you can take one to two teaspoons up to four times a day. So when I got a message from the school that Deuce's uh, classmate, somebody in his class had strep throat, he got one teaspoon in the morning before going to school and he got one teaspoon in the, in the evening, um, before bed. So I might increase the dose depending upon what's going on. A lot of times I will do a little bit of elderberry with some honey, lemon, and hot water and mix it like a little tea for him. And he absolutely loves it. Elderberry actually tastes good. It does not take, taste like a cough syrup. Okay. So anyway, um, it is also fantastic for asthma. I wanted to, uh, bring that up. So not as an inhaler, this does not substitute for your inhaler, okay? It's a preventative. So if you have asthma or you have children who have asthma or you have patients that have asthma, this is a great preventative because you want to clear out that mucus and the crud um, that comes with possible irritation. So it's great for patients with asthma as well. So it also helps, hi, Dr. Hodon, it actually helps to prevent the flu. So in my explaining to you that it's actually clearing out the mucus and the crud and stuff like that, then that is how it's preventative for the flu because it's antibacterial, antiviral, anti-infectious. This does not substitute for you going to the physician, but I'm telling you that this is a great protective. You do this before to protect your stuff, okay? All right, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it too, Dr. Hodon. All right, number four, 
um, in my series. So one was malabsorption because it's about fiber, right? And increasing your nutrient uptake from your food and your vitamins. All right. So that's number one. Number two is cardioprotective because of one, the fiber. It helps to decrease the cholesterol. Um, it has an increased amount of potassium with, in it, which is a vasodilator helping to decrease your blood pressure. Um, it has also diuretic properties, which is going to help with renal elimination of water, excess water. Okay. So so edema. Um, and then number three that we just talked about is immunoprotective because it gets rid of the crub and all of the mucus and the phlegm that catches the bacteria and it catches the viral stuff. You want to expectorate and get rid of that stuff. And so elderberry helps to do that. So that's why you want to take it ahead of time. You have to stay on top of the curve. You can't wait until you already have it right okay so we start taking elderberry usually around august all the way in michigan unfortunately all the way through april all right so okay so that was number three so now number four you guys ready for number four say yes i'm ready for number four dr sam so number four is hey dr andrew thanks for joining um hey dr hoda's mom i love you hoda i love you um okay so blood sugar support and diabetes protective, all right? Can you imagine this? Like this has so many benefit, benefits. So remember I said that um, elderberry has antioxidants. So these antioxidants actually work specifically on the pancreas. And the pancreas is what secretes the insulin, which is the hormone that drives the glucose inside the cell. All of this has to do with blood sugar regulation and diabetes, right? So if the pancreas is regulating the insulin and the glucose, um, it actually helps to stabilize blood sugar levels. So this is also protective for people who have prediabetes, metabolic syndrome, that kind of stuff. So it's a great thing to take every single day if you're trying to prevent diabetes. And also if you have diabetes, it helps to stabilize those blood sugar levels. Okay, number one was malabsorption because of the fiber. Number two was cardioprotective because of fiber, potassium, and antidiuretic or diuretic effects. Number three was immunoprotective because of the phlegm. It's got anthocyanins in them, bioflavonoids, antioxidant. Hey, Arthur, how you doing? Um, and um, just overall immune protective, right? Because it's antiviral, antibacterial, and um, antibacterial, antiviral, and anti crud <laughs> anti-crud okay anti-infectious all right and then number four was blood sugar regulation number five on my list is it actually helps with pain so pain in your bones and in your joints and it just is great for bone health in general now i did not know this um, but when i was researching this is very interesting so remember i said it has antioxidants in it it's got anti-inflammatory properties, which those two automatically combined are going to decrease pain in your joints and your bone, just in general, right? But it also has a high enough amount of minerals. It's got the potassium in there, but it's got some other minerals as well, where it actually helps to promote bone strength and the development of new bone tissue. So therefore, it helps with bone density. It actually increases bone density. So if you have like pre-osteoporosis, um, pre so osteopenia, or before you even get diagnosed with that, if you're taking elderberry, you're helping to increase the density of your bones um, and helping with the delay of onset of osteoporosis. So I don't have any studies on whether or not while you if you have osteoporosis, it helps with it, but I don't see how it couldn't help. So anyway, so that's number five, um, helps with pain, joints, and bone health because of the antioxidants and the anti-inflammatory properties, also because of the minerals that help to promote bone strength and the development of new bone tissue. All right, so let me tell you, I have my own elderberry extract it is or yes i've got stuff on it because we actually use this in my house every day um it is organic it has no glucose or fructose so it's all natural um it has no salt no wheat no gluten no yeast no corn no soy no preservatives 
no artificial colors and no artificial flavors. And it's absolutely fantastic. And my six year old asks for double doses of it. Hey, Dr. Joanne. Um, so elderberry is fantastic. You guys, I, I cannot support it enough and tell you guys that this needs to be in your pantry. Um, especially during cold and flu season from like August through May, y'all should have this in your, in your pantry. Okay. So I'm going to go over my five benefits of elderberry really quickly. Again, if you guys have any questions, please put it in the comments. Dr. Andrea said, that's awesome. I wonder if this would be a good mate to chromium. Yes. I don't see why not. Chromium, vanadium are also really good for blood sugar regulation, but elderberry is fantastic for, um, blood sugar regulation as well. Okay. So number one, that I said was malabsorption. Because elderberry fruit is high in fiber, it helps to increase the nutrient uptake from your food in your gut. It helps with malabsorption. So also, if you're having issues with, you know, maybe you're not absorbing your supplements well either, um, elderberry might help. So you can do elderberry as an extract. You can also do elderberry tea. I actually make a tea with this. So I use this for everything. So I'll just put some of this in the hot water. Um, you can also make elderberry, um, your own elderberry cough drops. So maybe I'll do a video on how to make the cough drops out of the syrup as well. Um, number two on my list of five was it's cardio protective. So number one was because of the fiber content it's going to help to decrease the cholesterol levels, which helps with blood pressure. It also helps, um, because it has a high amount of potassium in it, which is a vasodilator, which helps to decrease your blood pressure. Um, and it also acts as a diuretic, um, which is going to promote renal or kidney elimination of water. So if you've got what people call water weight, um, it will help with that as as well. Number three, which is the big one, which you're hearing about all in the news, is that it's an immunoprotective. All right. So because it's antibacterial, antiviral, anti-infectious, and the reason why it is, is because it has constituents called bioflavonoids and anthocyanins in it, which help to decrease inflammation and decrease irritation. It helps to clear the mucus and the phlegm out. And that mucus in the phlegm is what traps the viruses and the bacteria that are harboring in the glands, which cause you to have like the cold, the flu, upper respiratory stuff, that kind of stuff. So you want an expectorant and you want to be able to get it out as soon as possible or for it not to be there at all. OK, um, I highly recommend it for people with asthma as well as a preventative, not in lieu of your inhaler. All right. Number four. Hi, Dr. Jamila. Um, number four was specifically for blood sugar regulation, um, preventative for diabetes and maintenance. Um, so it has antioxidants and it works directly on the pancreas, um, which helps with insulin regulation and blood sugar regulation. Uh, this is not in lieu of your medication, but it definitely helps with prevention. Um, it's for stability of diabetes and helps with prevention. Okay. Uh, number five is pain, joints, and bone health. Because of the antioxidants and the anti-inflammatory properties, it helps with decreasing of your pain. But also because it's got a lot of minerals in it, it promotes bone strength and development of new bone tissue. So it increases the density, bone density specifically. So it might be a really great way to delay the onset of osteoporosis, help out with osteopenia. Um, definitely, I suggest you start taking it um, before you develop any of this. So if you guys have any questions, please put them below. Thanks so much for joining me. I am Dr. Sam Price. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician. I'm an expert in natural medicine. Through my number one best-selling books, my concierge medical practice, and my live event, Vital, the experience, I help you bridge conventional and alternative medicine to transform your illness into wellness. I am going to put the link to my specific elderberry extract. This is the one that I use with my family. My child hasn't had any kind of nastiness. I don't have any nastiness. The husband doesn't have nastiness because we use this every day. <laughs> every day. So I'll put the link so that you can get this. I think it's 26 bucks. It's well worth it. Well worth it. Okay. Um, I'll put the link for you guys to get it. You guys have a fantastic day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.